Here is my very long guide for Achilles Knowledge 7. Upgrade to Tank Armor T90. Achilles Knowledge 7 is an achievement that requires the player to learn how to upgrade their Death Skull and Death Woman equipment to Tier 90. To complete this achievement, you must fill up the Soul Urn given by Kili and provide the following items. A Blueberry Pie, Pulsating Onyx and 10 Powered Necromantic Seals from each of the Generals in the Heart of Gilinor. This is quite a lot of work, but we are got to start at the start. So here we go. Requirements are Achilles Knowledge 6, the Fremnik Trials up to Olaf the Bard, Fairy Tale 2, 20 Archaeology, 80 Attack, 80 Magic, 90 Necromancy, 80 Prayer, 80 Ranged, and 60 Rune Crafting. Items we will need include Pie Shell, Golden Fleece, 25 Necroplasm, 10 Crystal Keys, 50 Impure Essence, 10 Damage Artifacts, an uncut onyx and combat gear. Recommended items are methods of quick access to the fairy ring network, rune essence pouches, cooking cape to prevent burning the pie, dungeoneering cape to access the resource dungeon. To start, once again talk to Killy and talk about your active equipment task, then select tier 90 tank armor. You can do these in any order, but we will start with making blueberry pie. First talk to Lupe in her shop, Soul Supplies, the general store of City of Arm, and ask about blueberries. Now talk to Karen near her gondola, just northwest of Lupe. If you're in the middle of a quest, Alpha versus Omega, you won't be able to talk to her about this yet. Go back and talk to Killy and ask about blueberries, Evil Bob, and Escape Rune. Talk to Lully near the entrance of the Fremnik Slayer dungeon to obtain a golden fleece for a thousand coins. If Lully does not want to sell you one, it either means you haven't started the Fremnik trials or you've finished that section of the quest. Once you have the golden fleece, go and use it on a spinning wheel to make a golden ball of wool. Then go and give it to Evil Bob in Escape Rune, Fairy Ring CIS, in exchange for blueberries.
You might need to talk to Bob a few times to convince him to give you the blueberries. Now that you have the blueberries, add them to a pie shell and cook the uncooked blueberry pie on a cooking range. If you have a 99 cooking cape, it's a good time to use it here, as this will stop you from burning the pie. Now you have the pie, make sure you don't eat it and put it in the bank. Obtaining unpowered necromancy seals. Items needed, combat gear of necromancy, 25 greater necroplasm and four backpack spaces. Bring your best necromancy combat gear as well. If you've never been to God Wars Dungeon 2 before, you'll need to head to the heart of Gilanor. You may need to get there by traveling to Nada Fairy Ring DLQ, then walk south and a little west. Now we need to kill all the generals in the heart of Gilanor with necromancy and 25 greater necroplasm in your backpack. You need to kill them between 5 and 10 times to obtain 10 of each of the unpowered necromancy seals. They usually drop 1 or 2. You'll find each of the bosses in the corners similar to God Wars 1 where you need to kill 40 of the followers outside each entrance to enter the boss. Once you have killed one of the boss, then you can set your wars portal to go straight back there. So you can go back to wars and refill all your items and then come back. By wars, of course, I mean wars retreat. Twin Furies. I actually hadn't killed the Twin Furies before, so this is my first attempt. Also, I wasn't sure if I should put all of these boss fights here, so I just put one of each so you can kind of see what they involve but it seems to be fairly easy just bring the tier 80 necromancy gear and food and potions and you shouldn't have much problem Now go back to Wars Retreat and attune your portal to Twin Furies and then come back and repeat until you have 10 seals. Next boss is Gregorvik. Gregorvik is a bit of a funny one. I didn't actually look up any of their mechanics, I kind of just moved around and uh, healed quite a lot, so this is in no means a definitive guide to this boss, but it still seemed to work for me, so...
And now you have one kill of him, you can set your wars portal to just go back and do the rest of them until you have 10 seals. Vindicta and Gorvek. With this one, just try and avoid the fire. And also, with all of these bosses, make sure you put the um, darkness incantation if you have it and invoke death so that they will actually be pretty much killed as soon as they get to 20% health, I think. And again, set your wards portal to this boss, and then repeat until you have 10 seals. And the final boss of God Wars Dungeon 2, Hellweir. With Hellweir, just try and stay out of the clouds of poison if you can and then just try and do as much damage as you can And again, repeat until you have 10 seals, setting your wars portal to make it easier to get back between this boss. Powering the seals. For the swear seals, are they swear? I don't know. Open 10 crystal chests in Tavoli, or Iworth, to power the 10 necromantic seals of Seaware. Uh, bring your 10 crystal keys and seals. I chose to go to Tavoli because it's a bit easier. For the Fury Seals, restore 10 damage artifacts from Infernal Source to power 10 Necromantic Seals of the Furies. I'm not sure if you have to do specific ones, I think it said that you could actually restore any artifacts. So.
Faceless Seals. Craft 50 Miasma runes while having 50 or more impure essence in your backpack, including rune crafting pouches, to power the 10 necromantic seals of the Faceless. Dragon Rider Seals, you need to absorb Dragon Fire Attack. The best place to do this is Tavoli Dungeon that I found, and it doesn't take very long. Just teleport there if you have a Dungeoneering Cape, or you can just go to Tavoli Dungeon. Obtaining a Pulsating Onyx. This is actually probably the most painful part of this quest, as you need to go through 63 waves of the fight caves to get to this part. Also make sure you bring your inner necromantic crystal for this, otherwise it won't get powered. Start at the fight cave. I hadn't done fight caves before, so I went all the way to wave 63 the first time and then got killed instantly by this boss here. Then I found out you can actually use death touch darts and they actually instantly kill him. So if you have one of them, definitely use it. Otherwise, you might have to look up another guide on how to defeat this one because he is a bit tricky. And the last item to do is fill the soul urn. So if you have a soul reaper task, just complete that. Or if you prefer, you can do 50 powerful rituals, which may take quite a long time. Now check your list and make sure you have all the items out of your bank and you can return to Killy and go through the dialogue to learn how to make tier 90 tank armor finally. This one was actually so epic that I did contemplate not creating a video as it is so involved, but we have made it to the end.
Now go and do some more rituals for the armor upgrade items and upgrade to tier 90, finally. This has been a particularly massive one. I hope this helped you out of it, and thanks for watching. If you did like this video, it did take me quite some time, so if you do like it, please like and subscribe.